So what do inflammation, chronic pain, fatigue, anxiety, digestive issues, depression, all have in common? The vagus, the vagus nerve. nerve. In this video, we're going to introduce 10 vagal toning practices. And last night we were brainstorming all the ones that we read about, that we've tried ourselves. We came up with somewhere between 25 and 30. Yeah, there are many. There many, are many ways to tone your vagal nerve. But we decided for this short video, we were gonna narrow it down to 10. Mm -hmm. And they all had to meet four very specific criteria. So number one. Yeah, number one is that they had to be easily accessible. So they don't require that you have special equipment, special clothes, you don't need to um, consult a nutritionist or use a massage therapist. And they need to be free of cost. So everything we're sharing with you today, you can do without spending a dime. They also had to be quick. Oh, yes. So while some of the practices that we would love to share with you on future videos are a little more in depth, Everything we're sharing with you today can be done in under a minute, and in some cases, even just a few seconds. And they also had to be effective. So we had to actually feel the benefits of them within a short period of time. And everything we're sharing with you today is backed up by research and suggested by credible people who are well known in research having to do with the nervous system and or the polyvagal theory. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one is to hug someone you love. Did you know the average hug is just three seconds? So we are going to challenge you to double it, hug someone for six seconds. Uh, the second one was to laugh. Um, if you stream a funny clip from your favorite comedy, just having a chance to be around some funny people, it, 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 it changes your whole disposition and it's a wonderfully fulfilling experience. The third one is to hum. So we're gonna do that together right now so that you can see how easy and effective this is. So just take a breath in through your nose. And then as you exhale, let's make some sound. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely resonance, you know, when we hum. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. That's one of my favorites. You can do it in the car. You can have a trigger be, say, a stoplight, and every time you hit a red light, hum. It's a great one to do with kids. Yeah, for sure. Kids really enjoy it. Driving the kids to school, say, hey, let's do a humming breath. <sighs> number four. Uh, number four is uh, going for a walk, and uh, a bonus if you invite a friend uh, who makes you smile. Okay. Uh, number five, then, is uh, cold exposure. There are lots of different ways this one can go. We're gonna recommend splashing cold water on your face. Taking a cold shower, we'll share for another video because it's actually a little more in depth. Number six is slow and easy breathing. So breathing is another one that we could do a much longer video about, but for the intent of this short video, we're just gonna do some nice, slow, easy breathing together. I'm concentrating on three simple things. So the first is inhaling and exhaling out through your nose. So go ahead and try that while I'm talking you through this. If you find it hard to inhale through your nose, um, humming actually is a great way to clear it. We'll put some other tips in the comment section below. The second thing you wanna focus on is really relaxing your jaw and all the muscles in your mouth. So just check real quick right now and see that your teeth aren't touching. And then the third thing you wanna think about is really breathing um, front, side, and back. So as you're taking that nice deep breath in, think about breathing 360 degrees around, and even if you don't feel it, just imagine it. So maybe picturing a balloon in this um, space between your belly button and your, and your rib cage, and as you inhale in through the nose, you're just filling that up and you're feel, fi filling and feeling your front, sides, and back expand. That, doesn't that feel nice too? Yeah. So just pausing to breathe is a great way to tone your vagal nerve. Mm -hmm. These next two have to do with getting a restorative night's sleep. Uh, number seven is uh, turning off electronics two hours before bed. So think right now the time that it is that you like to go to bed or that you think would be a good idea to go to bed. Subtract two, you've got that number. That's when you want to be shutting off electronics and that means the TV the phone, the computer, the iPad, it all should go off. 
And number eight is to unplug uh, your Wi-Fi before you do retire. So maybe seven doesn't, number seven doesn't work for you and you're, you need to be on your phone right up until you get into bed at night. At least shut off that Wi-Fi. Number nine is listen to music that makes you smile. This is gonna be different for everybody, but put together a playlist so that you have it when you're feeling those times of stress or overwhelm, something that makes you move, that you wanna sing along to. We have included a link to a Spotify playlist in the comment section to get you started. And finally, number 10 is the recalibration practice, which is one of our favorite practices for toning our uh, vagus nerve. And it's something we do every morning. Yes. Yeah, every so morning. there's a link to that video here so that you can practice along with us. And that wraps up 10 quick, easy, efficient vagal toning hacks. We encourage you to pick out the ones that resonated most with you. And practice them. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Be sure to turn on the alerts so you know when we upload our next video. Next week, we'll be diving a little bit deeper into different ways to tone the vagus nerve. And we'd love to hear from you. Put in the comments, is there a practice you've heard about that you've got questions? We would love to shoot um, longer videos that are more in depth. So let us know what you'd like to hear and we'll see you at the next video. Thank you.